Have you ever pondered upon the nature of your existence? Do you ever wonder if this reality is all there is? Imagine for a moment, a world where the concrete under your feet, the air you breathe, even the thoughts in your head, are nothing more than lines of code in a cosmic computer program. A world where our reality is not the base reality, but a simulation. It's a concept that seems lifted straight from a sci-fi novel, right? Welcome to an exploration of the simulation theory. The simulation theory is a concept that might sound like science fiction, but it has been considered seriously by some of the brightest minds of our time. So, what is the simulation theory? Well, let's break it down in simple terms. The simulation theory is a hypothesis that suggests we, as in humanity, and the world we know, might not be real in the way we understand it. Instead, we could be living in a computer-generated reality, an artificial construct created by a highly advanced civilization. Think about the video games we play today. We have reached a point where the graphics, physics, and artificial intelligence are so advanced that they can mimic reality quite convincingly. Now, project that technology, a few thousand or even a million years, into the future. It's not unfeasible to imagine a civilization with the technological prowess to create a simulation so comprehensive and detailed that the inhabitants of that simulation believe they are living in a real, physical world. To bring it down to Earth, imagine you're playing a video game, completely engrossed, the controller in your hand, the pixels on the screen forming a believable world. Now take it a step further. Imagine if the characters in that game had consciousness, had thoughts, feelings, dreams. To them, their world is as real as ours is to us. They have no idea they're part of a game, part of a simulation. That's what the simulation theory suggests about our universe. We could be characters in an advanced civilization's computer game. Our entire existence, our thoughts, our feelings, our history, the stars in the sky, the laws of physics, everything could be lines of sophisticated code in an incredibly advanced computer program. To put it in a nutshell, we might be living in the matrix, though hopefully without the malevolent machines. In essence, the simulation theory proposes that our entire universe could be nothing more than a sophisticated virtual reality. The origins of the simulation theory are as fascinating as the theory itself. It's a concept that's been pondered upon for centuries, its roots reaching as far back as the ancient philosophers. The idea that reality is not as it seems is not a new one. Greek philosopher Plato hinted at this in his Allegory of the Cave, where he proposed that our perception of reality may be nothing more than shadows on a cave wall. Fast forward to the 17th century, philosopher René Descartes posed the concept of evil demon, a powerful entity that deceives us into thinking our world is real when it's not. This was a groundbreaking proposition that paved the way for future theories about simulated realities. In the 20th century, scientists and philosophers further explored these ideas. British philosopher Nick Bostrom proposed the simulation argument in the early 21st century. His proposition was that if a civilization could reach a post-human stage and run simulations of their ancestors, we are likely living in one such simulation. This argument brought the simulation theory into the realm of scientific discussion and gave it a new level of credibility. The development of virtual reality and advancements in technology in the late 20th and early 21st century have given this theory a new lease of life. The line between virtual and reality has started to blur, leading many to question if our own reality could be a sophisticated simulation. The simulation theory has also been popularized by tech entrepreneurs like Elon Musk, who famously stated that there's a one in billions chance that we're living in base reality, further adding fuel to the simulation theory fire. The simulation theory is not a new idea, but it has gained more attention in the digital age. As technology continues to advance and our understanding of the universe deepens, the simulation theory remains a captivating and thought-provoking topic, continuing to challenge our perception of reality. Like any controversial theory, there are compelling arguments both for and against the simulation theory. Let's delve into these, shall we? Supporters of the simulation theory often point to the rapid pace of technological advancement. Consider the progress we've made in just the last century, from the creation of the first electronic computers to the development of virtual reality and artificial intelligence. This rapid growth suggests that it's only a matter of time before we create a simulated reality indistinguishable from our own. If we are capable of this, who's to say a more advanced civilization hasn't already done it? Another argument in favor of the simulation theory is the concept of an infinite universe. If the universe is indeed infinite, then there are infinite possibilities. 
This includes the possibility of an advanced civilization with the capability to create a simulated universe. In an infinite universe, the unlikely becomes almost inevitable. But as we turn to the arguments against the simulation theory, we find equally compelling points. The most significant of these is the lack of empirical evidence. To date, scientists have found no concrete proof that we live in a simulation. The theory remains purely speculative, based on philosophical arguments and extrapolations from current technology, rather than hard scientific evidence. Additionally, there's the complexity argument. Simulating a universe, even by a highly advanced civilization, would require an astronomical amount of computing power. Consider the complexity of our own brains, with their hundreds of billions of neurons and quadrillions of connections. Simulating this level of complexity for just one individual is beyond our current technological capabilities, let alone simulating an entire universe full of such individuals. Furthermore, if we were living in a simulation, we would expect to see certain signs, computational shortcuts, glitches, or limits to the simulation. Yet, the universe appears to be infinite and continuous, without obvious signs of being a simulation. And then there's the ethical argument. Would a highly advanced civilization really create a simulated universe full of sentient beings, capable of feeling pain and suffering? This raises serious ethical questions about the nature of such a civilization and whether we would want to live in a universe created by them. While the simulation theory is intriguing, it remains a topic of intense debate among scientists and philosophers. As we continue to explore the mysteries of the universe and develop our technological capabilities, perhaps one day we'll stumble upon evidence that either supports or refutes this fascinating theory. Until then, the simulation theory remains just that, a theory. If we are indeed living in a simulation, what does that mean for us? This question, while seemingly outlandish, is actually quite profound, and the answer could have far-reaching implications. At the heart of this question is the nature of reality and consciousness. If our universe is a simulation, then what we perceive as reality is nothing more than an elaborate construct. This raises questions about our consciousness. Are we, as sentient beings, also part of this simulation? Or are we conscious entities experiencing a simulated reality? This dichotomy could challenge our understanding of self and consciousness, and could potentially redefine what it means to be human. The simulation theory also raises some interesting existential questions. If our reality is simulated, does that make our experiences and emotions any less real? If our joys, sorrows, love, and pain are all part of a simulation, does that diminish their significance? These questions force us to reassess the value we place on our personal experiences and emotions. From a practical standpoint, Knowing we live in a simulation might change our behavior and attitudes. If nothing in our reality is truly real, would we still be motivated to strive for success, to build relationships, or to create art? Or would we treat life like a game, knowing that our actions don't have real consequences? The answers to these questions could reshape societal norms and values. But perhaps the most profound implication of the simulation theory is the possibility that our reality could be manipulated or even shut down by those controlling the simulation. This could lead to a sense of existential dread, but it could also inspire a desire to understand and possibly communicate with these higher entities. Whether we are living in a simulation or not, contemplating the theory can give us a new perspective on our lives and the universe. So let's continue to explore, question, and marvel at the complexity of our existence, simulated or not. After all, the quest for understanding is a fundamental part of what makes us human. The simulation theory is a fascinating concept that challenges our understanding of reality. It's the idea that we may be living in a sophisticated, computer-generated world, a concept dating back to philosophical musings of ancient times. The debate rages on, with compelling arguments both for and against the theory. If true, it could have profound implications, potentially reshaping our perception of existence. Whether you believe in the simulation theory or not, there's no denying it's a fascinating concept that challenges us to question our understanding of reality.